what is going on everybody i hope you are having a fantastic day it is that time again it is everybody's favorite time in rise of kingdoms it is kvk season we have registered for strife of eight and our matchmaking is complete so we know who is going to be in our kvk so in this video we are going to be talking about who is in our kvk we also know our allies and opponents we have a picture of the map and what camps everyone is going to be in and we also have a very juicy story on how allies and opponents were picked and it is definitely not the way it is supposed to go at all so you're definitely not going to want to miss the backstory to that but real quick before we get started i know i have been mia for a while now um i just had a lot of personal stuff going on and ever since i had the covid vaccine shots a few months ago i was getting sick like every two weeks and i just really needed to step away take a break get my mental and physical health back to where it needed to be but I feel great now I'm more energized and focused than I've ever been before so videos streams all the nine yards are going to be coming in hot and heavy so you're definitely not going to want to miss out and this kvk is going to be bonkers it's so definitely stick around in this video because you're going to see why this is going to be a bloody kvk so first let's start off with who the heck is in this kvk okay so you have us 412 in this kvk we have 1606 1774 1823 1892 uh 1647 1780 1875 and 2051 there are a total of four imperiums in this kvk including ourselves now the allies for us in this kvk are going to be 2051 1892 1823 and 1774 so us in 1823 are two imperiums for our side and our opponents will also have two imperiums in 1647 and 1875 so that is the allies and opponents breakdown again our allies 2051 1892 1823 and 1774 so it will be a 5v5 let's get a quick look at what the map breakdown will be and it's very interesting so here is a picture of the map breakdown we of course are fire camp and the interesting thing here is our kvk is going to be bloody from start to finish because we are between two of our opponents with one of them being imperium 1647 and 1606 so we will be fighting two opponents right off the bat so from start to finish it is going to be bloody for us and as 412 we welcome the challenge we do not stray away from hard kvks we welcome them we love them uh, especially me you, you guys know me i hate boring kvks aka our last one with uh, the desert conquest we are back with a crazy kvk here so this is the breakdown our three allies are down here in the right corner by themselves so they're going to be able to do a lot of teamwork and pushing together and being in zones together working um, as a, hopefully a cohesive unit so they can wear down uh, our other uh, opponents and we will be trying to get out of this side so i kind of like that our allies are all together i know what we have in 412 i know the kind of players we have the mindset uh the fighters so i i believe in us i really do so if i didn't i wouldn't be in this kingdom so it's the reason i came here for hard kvks so this is the the map breakdown now let's go ahead and get into the backstory on how this all unfolded because it wasn't a normal discussion on opponents and um, allies like it normally is where you get together and you discuss like hey i think this would be a fair matchup we should do this we should do that and you know just diplomacy all around so i woke up this morning and um saw a bunch of messages uh 
uh, about how it, it diplomacy talks it just didn't go how it normally goes so the backstory that I was um, that I've been told by our our leadership and again this is just the backstory nobody in our leadership even gives a crap we don't care that this is how it happened or it broke down again we love hard kvks so this is just the story of how it happened this isn't us griping or bitching or complaining we don't care this is just me relaying the information to you guys because i mean i'm a content creator you guys want content and what's better content than a juicy controversy story you know what i'm saying you feel me all right so what happened was apparently um, I'm going to be looking off to my other monitor because it's kind of a lot. It's a message from Discord, so I don't leave anything out. So if I'm looking off to the right, that's that's what I'm doing. What happened was 1780 and all those that um, they knew registered for Strife of Eight, they created a, um, a chat group to be able to discuss once we found out who was in the kvk be able to discuss like allies and opponents basically just to they what i'm assuming which is smart they wanted to go ahead and build a relationship with all the kingdoms in case they happen to be in their kvk which is smart you know you just want to jump on an early and get to know people so they wanted to open up transparency with uh, every kingdom and so they can discuss and figure out a fun and balanced kvk and you know of course us and all the other kingdoms agreed like i said that's that's a smart smart decision um and what was supposed to happen was allies and opponents were not supposed to be discussed this was just relationship building allies and opponents were not supposed to be discussed until the map came out which came out at reset uh, about 12 hours ago now it's almost 5 a.m so eight o'clock last night reset so not not too long ago 12 13 hours ago that was when uh diplomacy was supposed to kick in when it comes to allies and opponents and figuring out the funnest kvk that we could uh come up with um so but not long after the uh the map was revealed and where everybody was gonna be apparently 1780 already had their allies announced what? So like shortly after reset, the they already came out and was like, these are our allies. And after they did that, everybody was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, that's in our KVK it was like, wait a minute. We were supposed to discuss this. Like as soon as the map came out, that's when we were supposed to be figuring this out. How the heck could you already have your allies like chosen without us even discussing anything? Um, and shortly after that, they removed everybody that wasn't their allies from the chat. Uh, 412, we didn't say anything. We were just like, all right, cool, whatever. Um, but, you know, the other kingdoms kind of spoke up, which, I mean, they should. It's kind of messed up. Uh, if you think about it, like, this game is all about diplomacy and talking and building relationships. Um, but I guess 1780 already knew what they wanted to do. Um... Which again, we let me clarify, we don't we don't care. Like we don't care about this breakdown. It's fine. Um, I definitely don't care. I want it to be I want it to be hard, man. Like win, lose, I don't care. This is all about fun, man. And this is gonna be uh this is gonna be fun as hell. Okay, yeah, the rest of the message message is just like, yeah, we don't we don't care. We're ready to zero ourselves, we're ready to have a blast, have a good time, have a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty much the the backstory there, um, which I mean, it's not really that that bad. I mean, it's not like we were really like people were getting stabbed in the back. It was just kind of a little shady, just, you know, slight a hand behind the back kind of thing. They already um, our opponents knew what they already wanted, you know, which is is fine. You know, they could have just said, hey, this is what we want to do. We really don't want to talk about it. This is what's going to happen and would have been like, oh, OK, like you didn't nobody had to be like shady about it. Like it's not really that big. it's a game. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, uh, as a content creator, you know, nothing sells more than a, a juicy story. So I thought I would share that with you guys. But yeah, so that is the um, the breakdown.
Again, I'll show the map real quick. The allies are in green. Uh, it's us, 823, 892, 774, and 2051 versus 1606, 1875, 1647, 1780, uh, Kingdom 5. So that's that's the breakdown right there. Um, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, you might want to because this is going to be a crazy KVK from start to finish, especially from our end of uh, the map. We're going against an Imperium Kingdom and also a very strong Kingdom in 1606, even though they're not Imperium. It's, it's going to be a wild ride. You're not going to want to miss it. I also want to uh, take the, the time real quick to thank um, all the members of 412 uh, and the leadership of 412 for uh, being patient and understanding uh, why I needed to take a break and um, welcoming, back, welcoming me back as if, you know, I'd never left. So I just want to thank you guys for that. And again, I'm more focused and re-energized than ever. Uh, I'm ready to uh, put all the troops on the line, all the resources and everything. So, but hey, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay tuned in because it's about to get wild. Uh, and until next time, I'm Wispy Gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, y'all take it easy.